Hi YouTube! Today we're going to talk about bum, ba -da -bum, Cloudberry Kingdom. Cloudberry Kingdom is another one of the games from Sony's PlayStation Store 2013 Play promotion. So I'll put a link down below to download it from their store if you want to. There is a discount if you are pre-ordering any of the games and you have a PlayStation Plus account. So there is some pretty decent deals on there. They gave me this game for free on the PS3 to talk about it, and so that's what I'm going to do right now. Woo! So Cloudberry Kingdom was made by a small independent game developer, but then picked up by Ubisoft somewhere down the line. So Ubisoft owns it, I guess, but it's not made by Ubisoft, to be clear. Basically, the developers put together this super ridiculously advanced artificial intelligence system that actually creates the levels for you each time you play. So, if you're in the arcade mode, every single time you play, you're going to get a unique level, no matter what. The first time I saw this, I was like, oh my god, it's gonna make impossible levels. I'm gonna get stuck with levels that just plain don't work, but guess what? Every single level is guaranteed beatable, and if you're stuck, you can actually use these little gems to pay to see how to beat the level or do it in slow-mo and stuff like that. So that's pretty neat. There is a story mode with 320 levels. The levels are kind of short though, so it's not quite as long as it sounds, but they are fun. The story mode is actually the only mode that has fixed levels, so you will get the same levels as other people who are playing the story mode because they were handpicked by the developers. But some point down the line, they were still generated by the really cool AI system. Also, there's cutscenes, and they're pretty funny. You play as this guy named Bob and... Uh, <laughs> You would be if you had an actual neck to strangle. There is customization. My Bob guy has always looked just 100% fabulous. And there's up to four local multiplayer, so you can play with friends either against or co-op. There's even modes like the bungee mode where you're attached at the hip by a bungee cord. And yes, you can beat the level with a dead person attached to your bungee cord. It's possible. You can play as a bunch of different kinds of heroes that have kind of different attributes. So some of the heroes have like say a jetpack so they can fly through the levels. Some have a little set of wings so they can double jump. Some are tiny. And when you actually randomly generate a level through that special AI, the level is completely adjusted for whatever kind of a hero you're playing as. So it's made specifically so that you can pass with whatever you're given. But of course, what would be the point of a super duper awesome customizable AI if we weren't allowed to customize it ourselves. So yes, you can make your own levels and generate the kind of levels that you want to play. And they go from like really kind of stupidly simple to the most intense, insane levels you will ever even consider to attempt. But they are beatable and I have beat the really obscenely difficult ones after probably about 500 tries, it's possible. <laughs> and if you come up with a level that you really like, you can actually save it and share it with your friends. So that's pretty cool too. There are leaderboards and competitions, which I tried really hard to get onto the top lists for and I failed miserably. I didn't even come close. Apparently I'm not as good at this game as I thought I was, but they are bi-weekly, which is really cool because if you aren't on the list, you will have a better chance of being there in three or four days. I personally really like when leaderboards refresh regularly, and not all games do that. There are six different difficulty levels, so the levels can range from like kind of stupidly easy to stupidly difficult. There's a lot of different modes, some of which are unlocked as you go, and they all present different challenges, like trying to get through the level as fast as possible, trying to make sure that you get all of the gems for the highest score, and stuff like that. Overall, Cloudberry Kingdom has like a super duper 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 advanced AI, but it's extremely simple to play in a fun way so I definitely recommend it I found it very entertaining I played it for like literally four hours straight last night also look at the faces on the obstacles in the game they're absolutely ridiculous but hilarious so if you like laser shooting at you and spiky balls flying around and squares moving and the obstacles everywhere this game is very fun the levels are short so it's kind of like and by I mean it's fast-paced it's very fast-paced yes that is a more eloquent way to put that also the music is all this like electronica techno dance music so you can kind of like jam out while you play like I said, the game's available now. 
Cloudberry Kingdom. It's only $9.99 on the PlayStation Store. And if you pre-order the other ones from the PlayStation Play promotion, then you get a discount if you have the PlayStation Plus account. So that's cool. I'll put the link to the store down below. Once again, go ahead, click it if you want to give it a little download. Let me know if you do get a chance to give it a play. And until next video, I'll see you then. Love you. Do 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 do